The viral Let's Go Brandon mass takedown of President Joe Biden has inspired a unique rap version that on Sunday perched squarely at the top of the iTunes hip hop chart. Fox News reported the song, performed by rapper Loza Alexander and titled Let's Go Brandon, first went viral on TikTok before quickly joining the iTunes hip hop chart to clinch the number one spot. The piece was inspired by the Let's Go Brandon trend sweeping the country since NBC Sports reporter Kelly Stavast interviewed NASCAR driver Brandon Brown after his victory at Alabama's Talladega Superspeedway earlier this month. As Breitbart News reported, the crowd could be heard chanting in the background during the interview, F. Joe Biden, which Stavast claims to have misheard as Let's Go Brandon. Brandon, you also told me, Stavast said before being interrupted by the crowd. As you can hear the chants from the crowd, she added, before claiming the crowd was saying, Let's Go, Brandon. The exchange quickly went viral on social media, with some users speculating the reporter intentionally attempted to mischaracterize the crowds chanting to spare her blushes and those of the interviewee. From there the phrase became a catch cry for opponents of the president, finding its way onto merchandise while others began chanting it at sporting events, with a child at NAPA's Super Dirt Week at the Oswego Speedway even exclaiming, Let's go Brandon, when asked by an announcer to, help kick this thing off. Now the hip-hop version rules the iTunes charts. In the days since the mocking chant was first heard, neither NBC nor Stavast has commented on Stavast's false claim about the NASCAR crowd. Elsewhere the establishment media has also played its part in seeking to protect the president from the predations of public opinion. Newsweek was happy Stavast attempted damage control for Biden. The outlet called Stavast a quick-thinking reporter for her assist to Biden and added she did a good job as she responded to an awkward situation. The Independent also cooed lovingly about Stavast's efforts to reframe the chant. In this paper's opinion, Stavast makes a smooth save by mischaracterizing the crowd's chant. In its lead paragraph, the paper insisted Stavast made a smooth save on Saturday when a profane chant broke out at Talladega. The Hollywood reporters at Deadline left no doubt how they felt about the incident and excitedly headlined their piece, NBC reporter Kelly Stavast salvages embarrassing NASCAR interview with verbal dexterity.